Oh, hey, funny seeing you there. Well, actually, it's my fault. I haven't been here for a while, but thanks for stopping by. It's been a while, mm, about 130 days, I think, since I posted my last video. But let me jump into what I've been up to. A couple of you have reached out and asked where I am. In today's video, I'm just going to address that because I'm right here. I'm just trying to figure out the next steps in my business career which has taken up quite a bit of time. So let's talk about the first thing on the list. If you haven't seen my last series, I did a, a big part series, Roads Less Traveled with about 6,500 miles of adventuring in the RV. I edited that, that was hardest, longest editing process I've ever done. To be honest, that's not the style of editing I like, it takes too long. But what I did learn from that is, make sure you do not fly in a national park and make sure you do not let your dog off the leash in a national park because they will find you and they will send you a ticket. So yeah, that was a good learning experience. Next up on the list, I have sold the Corvette. Couple reasons for selling the Corvette. Firstly, I had another son. So I had a son back in April and I figured racing 160 miles around the track, although stupid before I had the son, it was extremely stupid having three little ones. And honestly, you guys hated the Corvette content. In December, I went through every one of my 220 videos and I put them on a graph to see what you guys actually like. And the Corvette, out of all the content I posted, ranked the least watched and least liked. So I figured, hey, it's unsafe right now. It's not the time and the place to do it. And well, gas prices back then when I sold the car, it was actually cheaper, but gas prices would be through the, roof, through the roof right now. And you guys don't actually like that. So I decided goodbye Corvette. So on to the businessy kind of things. With my brother and my father, we made an offer to purchase a soap company. Think Adam's car polish, except for motocross and ATVs. We made an offer on that business back and forth due diligence. Anyways, uh, the offer was a decline. So on to figuring out the next thing. So I decided to look into garage type business franchises from polyspartic flooring, epoxy flooring to whole garage businesses. And I ended up going to a conference for one particular franchise. And I could see there were about 80, no, 60% efficient and 40% corporate wasn't actually supporting all the franchisees. I made an offer to them saying, I will purchase a franchise, but I also want to work corporately to make sure you support your actual franchisees. Anyways, they took that as me overstepping and told me that ah, they'd rather not work with me at all. So on to the next thing. From there, I decided to look at starting my own garage business locally with the retail shop, since there really isn't any of them. So I found a building and I placed an offer on this building. Anyways, I thought there was some weird thing happening with the agent and I don't think my, and I didn't think my offer actually made it to this seller. So I went directly to the seller, gave him my offer. He looked at it and he said, man, why didn't you give me this yesterday? I just signed an agreement for less than what you offered me. I said, I did give it to your agent. He just give, didn't give it to you. Anyways, two weeks went by and that offer actually fell through. So they called me back. And against my better judgment, I sent it back to the agent. I said, this time in bold, give it to your seller. I let it wait one day, then I went directly to the seller. I said, so what do you think of my offer? He's like, why do you keep coming a day late? You didn't give me an offer. I said, man, I gave you an offer. There's something shady happening with your realtor. So I'm sorry we lost out on this. But anyway, some shady shit happening there. So from there, I found another building. Now this building is in the town I live in now, and that requires a four to six month committee meeting approval, blah, 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 going through council meetings and all this stuff to get a new retail location approved. So anyways, I submitted an offer there. The offer was verbally approved. Um, they just didn't send me a signed contract. I went to a committee meeting. The committee said, look, we would love you here. This is a fantastic corner that looks run down. We want this corner to look bright and shiny, just like you propose. But anyways, I knew this process would take four to six months. So during this time, my past life, I had been in the mattress industry on the wholesale part. And uh, one of my buddies has another company and he's on the retail side and he's opening a bunch of retail locations. It's a one man shop that you can run uh, part time. And I decided to sign up for that. So anyway, sign up for that. I was looking for a retail location for that because I knew this other process would take forever. And lo and behold, I have a hernia. So I went to 
a surgeon. The surgeon said, look, you can get this operated whenever you want, but obviously the longer you take, uh, the worse it'll get. And when I do the surgery, you can't lift anything over 10 pounds for two months. Now that being said, that eliminates the mattress business because mattress is massive and I need to pick it up and move it by myself. So I axed that idea. So back to the building for the garage business. Anyways, it's been two, three weeks now. I haven't heard back, only verbal agreement. I can't start the village process onto the next approvals and whatever without a signed contract from the seller. So anyways, I followed up. They said, look, here's a new contract. I looked at the new contract. All of my contingencies were removed. They moved up the closing. Uh, they didn't want me to have contingents on financing, but this whole deal is based on the village actually approving it. And financing is based on the village approving it. So I said, guys, this is ridiculous. You've wasted my time. I've paid my lawyer to make this offer, and now you guys are changing it out. They said, don't worry, just add back the contingencies and we have a deal. And I decided, look, this is a four to six month process with the village that the seller has to be involved in. I just don't have the confidence that the seller actually will meet the deadlines that the village sets, in turn wasting my time in general, and time is money at the end of the day, so I decided to pull out of that deal. Now during all of this, I decided to get my realtor broker license, so I've completed my courses, I just need to take the test, and the test is on Monday, so wish me luck. So all of that has led to today, and today I still have nothing in the works, potentially. But what does that mean for this channel? Well, I don't want to do those long drawn out editing um, of filming documentary style. I still want to stick to the garage, quick little films, things I can edit without all the cin cinematography. That's not me, that's not what I'm interested in. And really that's what killed my drive to make more videos is because all of that took so much energy out of me, I just didn't want to edit where I could edit, I could film for two hours, edit for an hour, and have a video for you guys. It's not a high-end video, but it's a video that some of you enjoy. So that's what I'm gonna go back to. Just the grassroots of filming projects, getting projects done, finish the R32 camper videos. But my next series is all about campers. Uh, in the last eight months, you guys have really digged the camper videos, so I'm gonna focus on the camper videos for a while and hopefully push out some content that you guys like. So guys, that's what's gonna be happening on this channel. It's just gonna be good old Warwick Bell filming some videos for you. Either you watch them, you like them, you don't. I'm just gonna be putting out some content for you guys. But I forgot one thing. I just had an offer accepted on a business I'm buying. So stay tuned.